Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. This is a review of Gini as a Python IDE. Gini is an open source, lightweight IDE. It is cross-platform for Linux, Windows, and Mac. OS including the PC for six uh, systems. It can be compiled from a source at like GitHub. It can be installed from download binaries. I have installed version 2.00 from the Fedora repos. Let's begin. The first time you open the you will get uh, an, an empty file called a title. If you have previous files open, I will be showing up here. So what we can do is right off the bat is if I start typing. Uh, and unless I go and change the, the file type itself, it won't do the syntax highlight because it doesn't know what type of file this is. So I have to either save the file or I have to go and change it to the, uh, the type. So in this particular case, what I'll do is I'll use the deleting like a minute. So what I'll do is I'll go and Go to the new, or no, use a template, and I'll use the main Python one here. And I can okay. zoom in as well, simply on Linux, it's, it's, con uh, it's control shift plus plus. And I can run this, but I don't know going to, I'm going to delete this. And instead, it says it's an entire, I'm going to save it as. Oh, right, right now, the syntax highlighting should work. Yes, yeah, the syntax highlighting does work. And you see there's also the auto completion. The world. And if I also put a function. You see it has the smart indent. And yeah, as, as I was showing you, you can increase the font size, you can also do a search and place. So, so for example, I'm going to replace the word uh, hello. I can, I can go to the search. I'll go to replace. I'm not going to use regular extensions here. So I'll type world and I'll say earth. So I can move an entire document. I put a lot of See, there are 18. So we are going to actually use some Python, a structure in Python. So I'll show you that uh, from a course. So here's the learning Python course at jungleshop.com slash learning hyphen and Python. Uh, once you purchase this, remember you can get a special coupon code until the end of 2024 school. So once you log in, you go to your paid content, you can activate it from the menu here or from this internal menu, paid content, and then you pick it with the course. So I'm picking in learning in Python. So if you remember as well, you left off from last time, last time you left off with like the basic data types. So uh, let's go to the numbers. And these are the numbers that we're going to uh, run today. So that's 20. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to save this file. I'm going to save it as, I'll just call it test for now. Okay, do the other thing, we will need it, and then say int1 equals 5, int2 equals 3, int3 equals 9. So, I can then print all of this out. One, in two, in three. If, if I want to know the type, just type type in one, in two, in three. 
type int two, type int three. Now, in Guinea, it makes it pretty easy to go to build here. You can go compile, see there's no issue, and then you call build and execute. And uh, yes, yeah, five three one, and it says it's int, int, and then int. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with floats, so just to make it a little bit easier, I'll copy this. I'll make a comment here, float numbers. This will be integer numbers. Okay, so <coughs> remember we can use search and replace. So I'll take this. I'll go to search, replace, I'll place the word int with float. And then uh, I'll choose any selection. So this also changed because it was. So there you go. And what do I want to do? This should be 5 from 0. I'm going to add another one here. So I don't need to actually save this. If I go to build, compile, you see it will save the file. There's no issue again. And then we can execute. And you see, it printed all this out. And the second one is full, 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 full. This, the ones as well are from the integer numbers. So now let's do complex numbers. So we want to replace the word float with complex. Not the argument in selection. So then we uh, you can also use this one here. Um, so this is to open this, this is to open a file, this is to open an existing file, this one is to save the file, that's what I want to do. And then you see here we have compile, no problem. And then this one, you can uh, build, or the one we want is to run this one here. We go. So as you can see, these are my complex numbers. So complex, complex, complex. And it uh, put them out here as well. You can get the full article at jungle.com slash hyphen as hyphen python hyphen id and gini can be found at gini.org or if you want to download the source code or look at it yourself if it's available you can click here or simply go to github github.com slash gini slash gini if you're not created gini plugins uh, again from the website gini 
.org manual slash reference how to .html and here's a bonus if you love Python you can use Python to create a Gini plugin and the instructions are here on how to use Python to create Gini plugins and of course how do you learn Python Use this promo code SCHOOL S C H O O L to the end of 2024 to get 20% off. And remember, you don't need to install any IDE or Python on your device. You can simply everything will be available for you. See all the course material. This isn't an IDE here, so you can simply just type something as simple as complex one equals the plus 5j and then you can print it out complex 1 and I can also print out the type complex 1 and when you hit compile you will see the output below thank you